Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's Mike Bowens with you, ready to motivate you through the Word of God. We come to unleash the creativity within you. This is how we doing it. We doing it big this morning. We doing it big every day for the rest of our lives. Hey, you may cook the best macaroni and cheese that anybody has ever tasted. Why don't you box it up, put it in some little tins or some little cartons and start selling it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again live and direct from unleashing the creativity within you. Now I'm coming to you with another subject, how to make a comeback part two. This one right here is change your approach now first part one was you know re reshape your vision or get a new vision part two is change your approach now this means the way that you did it the first time and it didn't work for you change the way you're doing it this time come from a different angle they think you're coming from the side door come from the roof they think you're coming from the roof come from the basement they think you're coming from the basement come through the back door they think you're coming through the back door come through the front door change your approach see success is all about trial and error hmm right and you got to be able to outlast the pain you got to be able to outlast the criticism you got to be able to outlast the failure you got to be able to outlast the setbacks because once you figure out the formula for what's working and how it's working then you're able to tap into that and to continuously do that and it's going to take your life to a whole new level but you got to understand the process you got to understand that if i tried it this way the first time it didn't work let me just take a step back analyze what i did and let me get back in the game from a different way and write down right be calculating write down what you did the first time write down what you're doing this time how you're starting, how you're trying to do it, and write it down and go for it. And if it doesn't work, then you go back, you take a step back, you re-strategize, look at the notes from the first time. Okay, this is what I did the first time, it didn't work. Okay, this is what I did the second time, it didn't work. Okay, let me pray over this and let me see what I could come up with for the third time. You're like a chef in the kitchen. You're like a chef in the kitchen. You're about to cook something up, boy. You're about to cook something up, boy. Now, when you get in the kitchen and, and you're making a recipe, you know, you put a little salt and pepper in there, you put a little paprika in there, you put a little garlic in there, a little onions, depending on what you're making. That's how I get down. That's how I cook it. Not too much salt, but you know what I mean. And I taste it, right? Mmm, that tastes all right. Need a little something else. Get rid of that spoon, because that's nasty if I put that back in there. That'd be nasty, because if everybody else is eating it. And I get some other flavors in there. Get another spoon, dip it in there. Mm, now that tastes good. And I memorize or I write down what recipe did I use to make this meal so the next time I go to make it, I know exactly what ingredients I need to put in it so that the next time it will taste just as good. And I can even tweak it and make it a little better. But if it came out nasty and I didn't write down what I put in it, then the next time it's a possibility that I'm going to duplicate that same um, foul taste that I had the first time because I didn't jot down, I didn't write down what is it that I put in it the first time. So I wanna, I wanna encourage you, change your approach. If you keep trying it from one angle and you keep getting the same results, insanity says, to, if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and you're getting undesired results, then that's insanity. Now, if you want, reside, if you want desired results, you gotta change something that you're doing. And oftentimes I found that it's not anything, something that's big. It's something that's very small that needs to be tweaked and changed in what we're doing. Either it's the way that we think, it's who we're hanging with, it's, it's the way that we are approaching it, it's the amount of money that we're saving to put into it. Maybe it's the money that we're spending every month and not saving. You know what I mean? It's, you gotta analyze your life. You gotta take a step back and evaluate you. Right? Oftentimes we look for people to evaluate us, but one of the great, greatest knowledges there is out there is knowledge of self. If you don't understand yourself and why you do what you do, how you think the way, why you think the way you do, then guess what? 
You're going to keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and you're going to keep taking the same approach when maybe you should be coming from a different angle to get to the desired result that you want to achieve. Now, on that note, I'm signing off because I feel like you got this. I feel like you're going to take it to the next level. I feel like light bulbs is going off in people's heads right now. Boom, 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 boom. Right? I tried it this way, but now I'm going this way. I tried it that way, now I'm trying this way. You know, I tried to just call on the phone and ask her out, but maybe I'm going to get her some flowers this time and a nice card, a nice love letter, and, 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 and ask her if she wants to go out. Right? Maybe you and your wife was, you know, trying to have a kid. Maybe you tried this way, but now it's time to try this way. Right? It's all in you. It's all in you. You can do this. Until next time, it's your man Mike Bowen saying, be blessed.